Hi lovelies, welcome back to Christina Maria Yoga. I'm Christina and today we are doing a core flow. So this is a core flow on the go. It is a fast flow to fire up your abs and I designed this flow because I have my exams this week. I don't have much time to work out so I wanted to do a maximal effort workout in the shortest amount of time possible. If you guys are in that kind of situation where you have so much going on in your life, this is a great way to get some exercise in quickly. You can do it absolutely anywhere, no equipment needed. So I really hope you guys like this one. Sorry for my lighting as I just finished my exam and it's quite dark now, but I hope you guys like it nonetheless. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Your support means so much. And don't forget to click that big red button subscribe so you don't miss another flow with me. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. We're going to begin today reclined on our back with knees bent up and soles of the feet resting down on the mat. Just take the hands onto the belly or down by the sides, taking a few relaxing deep breaths to help ground you and center you here. Inhale, drawing knees up 90 degrees and feet are just neutral. Slowly begin to lift the head up, shoulder blades off the back of the mat, and hands by the sides just slightly lifted off the mat, beginning to pulse the hands down without letting them touch the mat. The more you draw the head towards the knees, the more engagement you'll have through the core, making the movement harder. Keep pulsing and breathe. Don't forget to smile, have fun while you're working your core. Just a little warm up here, keep going, you can do it. From here, take the hands behind the head, elbows out wide, extend one leg straight out, hovering above the mat, and then as you draw back in, extend the other leg out, alternating one leg then the other to modify tapping the heels down, or to be more advanced, keeping the leg lifted once it's extended, and then drawing it back in and switching. It's a continuous controlled motion, don't need to go too fast. And then draw the knees in, extend legs straight up towards the sky. We're doing alternating toe taps, so taking right hand to left foot, and then left hand to right foot, alternating one, then the other, working with obliques here as we go across the body, making sure that shoulder blade's coming right up off the mat. You're doing great. For our next pose, we're switching between long boat, to full boat. So arms behind the head, legs extended straight, and then as you exhale, coming up into boat pose, knees draw in and full upper body comes up off the mat. Inhale, lower down, keeping legs hovering. Exhale, draw yourself back up. Inhale to lower. Exhale, draw up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, hold the body strong. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, Exhale, inhale, and exhale, and relax, bringing soles of the feet to touch as you come forward, finding butterfly, taking a moment to breathe as you flutter out the legs, and then coming right back into boat pose, lifting the knees, hands on the back of the legs this time, right at the hamstrings, straight spine, shoulders relaxed, hold, and breathe. Becoming a little bit more advanced, we're taking hands to prayer at heart center and adding an oblique movement by twisting from one side to the other. So dropping right elbow down, coming through center, and then dropping left elbow down. Keep the legs nice and lifted, keep drawing up through the core. Strong body here, you're doing great. It's okay if your abs are on fire. And then quickly come over into forearm plank. We're lifting up the legs, core is tight. And then once again, adding an oblique movement, dropping hips down to the right, and then through center, dropping hips down to the left, never touching the mat. We're just switching one side to the other. We're on the toes of the feet, shoulders right over top of the elbows. Then high plank, shoulders over top of wrists, fingers spreading wide, hold. Breathe. Nice long body, make sure you're not arching the back. Switching over into side plank. So coming into the right hand, feet stacked on top of each other, and left arm rises up to the sky. Gaze can look up towards that top hand, and then bringing left hand back down. High plank, 
both hands rooted down, core is engaged. And side plank on the other side, rooting into left hand as we draw right arm up to the sky, stacking feet on top of each other. So that right foot is on top of the left. Breathe here. Keep the hips lifting high. Don't let them dip down like they're going to want to. You can do it. Draw the right hand back down. Find that high plank. Hold and breathe. You're doing amazing. Keep going. Power through. You're almost done. Drop the knees down. Take a few breaths in child's pose. Big toes touching. Arms lengthened out. Forehead down. Connecting to the mat. Deep belly breaths. Stretch out the abdominal muscles here. Then slowly come forward, find that high plank. This time we're doing some oblique twists. So we're drawing knee in towards the elbow, draw the knee across to the other elbow, back to the elbow, and then back down. So right knee to right elbow, draw the right knee across the left elbow, back to the right elbow, and send it back. Keep going one side, then the other. It's like you're drawing an imaginary line. And then slowly come on down, swing the legs around to come to seated. We're going to recline all the way down nice and slow onto the back. Once again, knees bent up, soles of the feet pressing down. And then take the legs up towards the sky, dropping a right leg down, then left, alternating leg drops. Hands can be rested down by the sides and head resting on the mat, so no need to strain the neck here. Then slowly bringing legs back up to center, begin to circle the legs as they're glued together. Small circles, you'll feel this in the lower abdominal muscles. Good, keep breathing, circling the other direction. Last movement, you're drawing the feet up towards the sky, lifting up the hips with each Inhale, so inhale, lift up, exhale down. Inhale, lift, exhale down. The head might want to bob up, but keep it glued down to the mat. Use the palms pressing down into the mat to help guide you. And then slowly extend the legs out nice and long, feet falling open and hands resting down by the sides or on the belly. If you'd like to connect deeper with the breath to really stretch out those abdominal muscles, I really rec recommend putting the hands on the belly and focusing on breathing deeply, slowing down the heart rate here, and just coming back to this time and place. That was incredible work that you did. I hope you are so proud of yourself. And feel free to stay and soak up this energy in Shavasana as long as you would like. Allow everything to relax. Be soft, feel supported by the mat beneath you. Simply breathe. Namaste. Thanks so much for doing that flow with me, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and that your core feels fired up. I know mine definitely did, and hopefully you're not too sore. If you guys like this flow, please give it a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday, so be sure to come back and check me out. If you'd like to flow with me on the daily, check out my Facebook page and Instagram in the description box down below. I love to connect with you guys on there, and I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your week. Feel free to click around the screen to do some of my previous flows. Lots of love, guys.